free places to stay overnight, some extended periods of time. Mm -hmm. So stick around. There are plenty of them out there, but fewer and fewer, mm -hmm. um, as we've talked about, are allowing overnight stays. Yes. Here's mm -hmm. one that people don't think about. They really don't. And we have just found these along the way. So yes. doing your research on this is good. It is... All right, today we are doing one of our frugal videos yes, and are. it is our top 10 free, free in 2023. All right, so you're gonna wanna stick around right to the end. Mm -hmm. We're actually gonna do these in ranked order. Mm -hmm. that, that may not mean anything because it's just our preference. Yes. Um, but we're not going to waste any time. Let's just uh, we're jump, in. jump right in. Mm -hmm. These are free places to stay overnight, some extended periods of time. Mm -hmm. So stick around. Here you go. All right. What is our number 10? Number 10, rest areas. Yes, those noisy, busy rest areas. Non-rest areas, really, is <laughs> what I should say. And that's the reason they fall number 10 on yes. our list. Because... Yes. Uh, while we do stay at them on occasion mm -hmm. for convenience because they're right off the interstate mm -hmm. or on the interstate as it were in some cases in the middle of the interstate yes. yes they're well lit they have a lot of traffic tractor trailers running all night um and also the consideration of leaving spots for tractor trailers if there aren't truck stops in the area it's the reason it's number 10 it's really it's a last resort but there are some great places like you check out our video mm -hmm. on texas glamping there rest area go. glamping mm -hmm. um and that's almost like a destination absolutely all right so what's number nine on our number list? nine this is going to surprise you because number nine for us is walmart oh I Ouch. No, we put it down there at the bottom of the list. Yeah, and here I think again goes to, there are plenty of them out there, but fewer and fewer, mm -hmm. um, as we've talked about, are allowing overnight stays. Yes. Um, especially if you're in populated areas, the Northeast, mm -hmm. out on the West Coast, mm -hmm. down in Florida, not so many of them. Nope. Um, but they are noisy. They can be used as racetracks. Yes. And... There's light, like, yeah. they, they want to make sure it's safe, so they light the thing. Oh, and the entertaining Walmart radio. Yes. <laughs> so that some stores play externally. Mm -hmm. That's really nice of them. I get to enjoy free radio. What is number eight on our list? This this is kind of uh, this along is, that same line. It's a little different. And it's other retailers. What do we mean by other retailers? Yeah. So, for example, the ones that come to mind, Cabela's, which, again, is pulling back. Mm -hmm. uh, Camping World, which essentially has all but pulled back. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Bass Pro Shops, mm -hmm. but there aren't a ton of them. But no. you will find them in some urban location. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Sam's Clubs. Mm -hmm. Some people I've heard uh, say malls, but... Again, it's kind of hit or miss. Very hit or miss. So that's why it's down on the list. It might take us a while to kind of find one of those where we can actually Exactly. Start. Number seven. Ooh, Ooh. Here's a fave. Fave. It is Cracker Barrel. Yeah. And why does this make it so high on our list? High? Well. Seven is not high. <laughs> it's higher than some of the others. That's true. Um is because there are a lot of them, especially in the South and, you know, parts of the country where it's just easy, convenient. Oh, yeah. And it's a smaller area. They have dedicated spaces. It's on the freeway most of the time. But it's on the freeway mm -hmm. and it's well lit. Mm -hmm. And with the advent of the new car Vs. Mm -hmm. Check out the video. <laughs> sometimes those spaces aren't open, but it, it's just an easy place you can pull off. You know you're not going to get harassed. Um, there are some that don't allow overnight parking. Mm -hmm. Check with the location. All right. Brings us up to number six. One more before we take a break. So, yeah. So, what's our number six? U.S. and state forest service. Yes. And hmm. you can imagine this might be a great place for an extended stay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The one that comes to mind that we use is Welsh Road mm -hmm. uh, Forest Service Area out in Arizona. Mm hmm um, because a lot of people think, oh, that's BLM land. Well, it's not. It's technically U.S. Forest Service. Mm -hmm. um, when we were in Oregon, we used some state forest land. Mm -hmm. um, a little odd to get to, a little tight, a little difficult for our larger RVs. Right. So if you're a smaller unit mm -hmm. um, and you have some flexibility, 
then these can be great options for you. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a bigger rig, if you're towing, uh, low clearance, not so much. And right. you know, you can tell, but it's forest service. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably going to be in a forested area, mm -hmm. narrow roads, mm -hmm. maybe some mountainous. Mm -hmm. um, maybe like narrow bridges. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. But if you are a smaller profile, it is worth checking out because yep. that's is the first on our list where you can actually do some extended stays. Absolutely. Let's go for a break. All right. So smash that like button mm -hmm. because it helps more people see our videos and our channel continue to grow. Absolutely. Ring our bell. And definitely check us out. Um, our sites. Go to our twobearstrekking.com. It links you to uh, Randy's eBay site, my photography site. Mm -hmm. See what we got there to offer. Yep. All right. So number five on the list. Number five. And this is one I mm. kind of lumped into the harvest host concept mm -hmm. without paying for harvest host. Right. So if you watch our harvest host review video, mm -hmm. um, you can see a lot of the types of places we're talking about. Farm markets, farms, mm -hmm. museums, even churches, wineries, wineries, distilleries, breweries, yeah, car washes. Exactly. Um, you know, you can pick up the phone and just call, uh, cold call some of these people. Yes. Um, you know, you look on your route and you say, oh, there's a farm market here. There's an RV wash. Mm -hmm. There's um, even restaurants with, you know, larger lots. And Dude, say, hey, look, look on your satellite. I mean, use your satellite to say, oh, this has a large parking lot. Why not give them a try? Exactly. And you can just uh, just give them a call and mm -hmm. it's worth a shot. All right. Number four. Number four. Here's hmm. one that people don't think about. They really don't. And we have just found these along the way. Yes. So doing your research on this is good. It is community or yeah. County. County and municipal. municipal parks right um we did a video on this uh the one that pops into my mind is san john mm -hmm. new mexico right. right right but you will find these particularly in the middle of the country yes um that are free mm -hmm. they don't they don't charge no um and some of them even have hookups mm -hmm. well picnic tables they, yeah i mean goodness gracious mm -hmm. absolutely so um that is always a good thing to keep in mind because Do your research they're quiet mm -hmm convenient mm -hmm. um yeah and not as many people competing for those spots we're into our top three now do the top three you guys have been waiting here we go yeah. number three da -da -da. water districts what the heck is a water district well where is a water district <laughs> is another question yes the number one uh place you'll hear people talk about water management districts is florida mm -hmm. um and it does make up a large part of uh the off-grid camping, dry camping there in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, it's not the only place, though, in the U.S. Not the only place. No. Uh, if you watched our Joshua Tree mm -hmm. video, you will hear us mm -hmm. talk about... Whoops, where are we parked? I think we're technically parked in the water management district land. Right. Um, so there are water districts around the country mm -hmm. that... Um, that manage property and actually do allow people to stay overnight. Right. Do the research. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. Number two. Oh, this is going to be a shocker, but we've been talking a lot about We have about been it. talking, so if you've been watching us, you know what we're going to say. Number two is casinos. casinos. <laughs> Why do we love casinos? Oh, I love a good casino. <laughs> Food. <laughs> food. They have a lot of inf infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So there are restaurants, nice, large, clean restrooms. Yes. Uh, you can kind of get lost and blend in. Yeah. Well, some of them, some of the casinos are large. Very large parking lots. Yes. Uh, they I mean, have Foxwood was huge. Exactly. They have security. They're secure. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are well lit. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily as noisy. No. Um, Which is nice. Yes. And um, probably one of the biggest things is you can stay multiple nights. Yes. It's not just a one and done. Mm -hmm. um, I can think there are places I think you could stay up to seven nights. Oh, there's been places that we have stayed up to seven nights. Yeah. And, and uh, now it does vary. And, you know, we're going to have a whole video on casinos. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, make sure you check that out. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, it, it's just, it's free most of the time. They're plentiful. Mm -hmm. And all you got to do is you don't necessarily have to go to a special website. All you got to do is type casino into your GPS and boom. Yeah. Give and them a call. Find out what their policies are. Absolutely. Uh, number one. Number one is? Oh, I think it's going to be obvious. Yes. BLM land. Yes, it is. And why is it number one? Well, it's plentiful. Mm -hmm. There's tons of space mm -hmm. uh, in uh, the open areas of the country. Mm -hmm. You can stay up to 14 days. Yes. Um, and you can move from spot to spot, yes. you know, 25 miles away yes. and just do those back to back. Uh, so that is where people can put together an entire season, yes. like a winter season. Absolutely. Uh, we did staying, for the most yes, part. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Just staying on BLM land. Mm -hmm. And it's generally, uh, there's enough space where it can be quiet, mm -hmm. very little light, mm -hmm. um, and, and noise it, depending on where you are. Yes. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, so that's, that's number our number one. one. All right. If you have additional yes. places that you'd like to see on the list, comment we, below, uh, just because it, didn't make our list mm -hmm. doesn't mean we haven't stayed there and there aren't more options, mm -hmm. but they fall below the number 10 position yeah. typically. Yes. All right. Hopefully you found this helpful. Subscribe, hit that bell for notifications and keep, keep on, on tracking. tracking.